this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this uh, video, we'll make the cherry blossom doily. Um, and I've been seeing these beautiful trees blooming in my neighborhood park. And this got me inspired to um, design this uh, doily. And um, this is uh, easy. It has uh, 21 rounds and it measures it's about 11 and a half inches in diameter. And I'm using Aunt Lydia's crochet thread size 10. This is my main color. And this one is called Shaded Pinks. It has this uh, white and uh, different shades of pinks in it. So it's multicolor. Uh, one ball is enough it is 100% cotton and it is this one has 300 yards in one ball and my contrast color I just have a little bit of left here from a, another project um, this is also on Lydia's crochet thread size 10 and it is it is called copper mist and I think this should be enough for those few rounds and crochet hook is size 1.75 millimeters and let's get started and starting with a slip knot chain seven five six seven and slip stitch in that first chain to make a ring and the first round starts with four chains this counts as the first double crochet and one chain and now I'm going to double crochet in the ring make 14 more and I always uh, chain one between each double crochet so with that beginning three chain I have total of 15 double crochets in first round double crochet and chain and after last chain I'm going to finish the round with a slip stitch in a beginning third chain Round two starts with five chains. Four, five. This counts as first double crochet and two chains. Now double crochet in the next stitch and chain two. Double crochet in the next stitch, chain two. Repeat this. So you also have 15 double crochets, two chains between. And last two chains again finish the round with a slip stitch in third beginning chain and third round starts with four chains four this is uh, one double crochet one chain and now uh, we're going to double crochet in that next two chain space then chain one and double crochet now in a stitch chain one double crochet in the next space chain one double crochet in the next stitch so we're making the double amount of double crochets that means we'll have 30 double crochet stitches on round three and chain one between each and again after last chain we'll finish the round with a slip stitch in uh, third beginning chain <clears throat> round four repeats round two so chain five counts as double crochet in two chains then double crochet in the next stitch and chain two double crochet in the next stitch chain two and repeat all around so on this round you also have 30 double crochets 
and chain two chains between each I slip stitch in third beginning chain to finish round four round five is exactly the same uh, chain five then double crochet next stitch chain two double crochet in the next stitch Finish the round the same way with the slip stitch in third beginning chain and round six is the same except we chain three between each double crochet. So that means we start with six chains, four, five, six, double crochet in the next stitch and chain three, double crochet in the next stitch, chain three and repeat. And when round six is finished, I'm going to cut off my main color and fasten off. I will continue with my contrast color and make next three rounds with it. So make a slip knot. Now I'm going to take my hook out and I'm going to insert it first in that same stitch where I finished round six. Then pull my slip knot through and round seven starts with five chains. One, two, three, four, five. This is uh, first double crochet and two chains. And now double crochet in that same stitch. And next we chain five, three, four, five. And now skip this next double crochet and go into that next one here. And we're going to make that uh, sort of a V stitch. So first double crochet, chain two and double crochet in same stitch and this repeats chain five three four five skip next double crochet in the next one make double crochet two chains and double crochet and again chain five repeat this all around and finish round seven Again with a slip stitch in third beginning chain here. When you count, you have 15 of these uh, V spaces stitches. Round eight starts with four chains. Four. This counts as first half double crochet and two chains. Now half double crochet in that next double crochet stitch. And chain two half double crochet now in that next five chain space and chain two make another half double crochet in a same space and chain two then half double crochet in that next double crochet stitch chain two and half double crochet in the next double crochet stitch chain two and repeat half double crochet in a five chain space chain two half double crochet again in the same five chain space chain two half double crochet in the next stitch chain two half double crochet in the next stitch chain two and repeat and finish round eight last two chains now slip stitch in that second beginning chain and round nine 
chain four half double crochet in the next stitch chain two so this round is just a uh, half double crochets in each stitch and two chains between And I also finished uh, round nine with a slip stitch in the second beginning chain. And I'm going to cut off this collar, fasten off. Continue with my main collar. Make a slip knot. And round 10. Uh, repeats round seven so I'm going to join my thread the same way um, first insert your hook through that last stitch here where you made the slip stitch then pull the slip knot with the main color through and now chain five one two three four Five. This is double crochet and two chains and double crochet in the same stitch. This is the V stitch again we're making. Then chain five, three, four, five. And now here we need to skip next two double crochets. One, two, and so it's those three spaces. One, two, three. And in that next these are half double crochet stitches of course and in that next stitch I'm going to make my V stitch so double crochet one chain two double crochet one more in the same stitch chain five three four five skip next two stitches one two in that third Make V stitch, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain five, and repeat. And finish round ten uh, with a slip stitch in a third beginning chain. Starting round eleven, first slip stitch in that next two chain space. We're going to make the V stitch the same one. So chain five, three, four, five, and double crochet in the same space. Also wanted to mention when you count, you have 20 V stitches on round 10. And now we're going to make double the amount of V stitches. So meaning now after the first one, chain two, now I'm going to find that third chain on this next five chain space, insert, make my V stitch in here. So double crochet, two chains, double crochet, same stitch. And chain two. And next V stitch will go in this chain space. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet. And I also always uh, chain two between my V stitches and then repeat, find a third chain here, make V stitch. Chain two and next V stitch in here. And repeat. Finish the round with slip stitch in third beginning chain. When you count, you have 40 V stitches. And next two rounds, 12 and 13, are exactly the same. We uh, first slip stitch in that next chain two space between double crochets, then chain five for the first V stitch, then double crochet in same space. 
then chain two and make the V stitch in here in this two chain space between double crochets and chain two so each V stitch goes into the space of the V stitch on previous round and we always chain two between two and next and make two rounds this way finished 13 rounds and i'm going to cut off my main color and continue make uh, next three rounds with contrast color fasten off make a slip knot And I'm going to join my thread in uh, one of these uh, spaces here, two chain spaces in a V stitch. So between double crochets. Again, take hook out, insert it through that space, pull the slip knot through, making uh, two chains here, and then make a double crochet in the same space so this is my first two double crochets together and chain six three four five and six and going to the next uh, v stitch uh, two chain space here so skipping this and in here make two double crochets together so start the first one and then start your second one now you have three loops on hook pull through them chain six three four five and six and again in the next v stitch make two double crochets together chain six and repeat and finish round 14 with a slip stitch on top of that first uh, cluster And round uh, 15 starts with uh, five chains one two three four five and this counts as uh, first half double crochet and three chains and next uh, we're going to half double crochet in that chain space and chain three two three then we have double crochet in that next stitch on top of that cluster and chain three and it repeats next one goes into the space chain three and next in a stitch And finish round 15 with a slip stitch in the second beginning chain and one more round 16 with contrast color this is also half double crochets and three chains so it starts the same with five chains then half double crochet in that next stitch chain three half double crochet in next stitch so so this one is easy just chain three and 
half double crochet in each stitch finished round 16 and I'm going to now cut off the uh, second color fasten off and uh, continue make last five rounds with main color so let's make the slip knot here And now I'm going to join it in um, in this space here. This is the beginning space on the last round. And same way, insert a hook through first, pull the slip knot through, then make three chains. This is the first double crochet. Now make three more double crochets in the same space three so total is four in here then chain five three four five and now skipping next space and also next stitch in the next chain space single crochet chain three skip next stitch in the next space single crochet and chain five three four five and I'm going to skip again this stitch this space this stitch and in the next space make four double crochets three and four And then repeat uh, five chains, three, four, five, skip next space in next one, single crochet, chain three, in next space, single crochet, chain five, three, four, five, skip next space, make four double crochets. Finish the round with slip stitch in uh, th third beginning chain. Now round 18 starts with three chains mm. and then double crochet one in each next uh, stitch. So we also have four here, chain five, four, five. In this uh, next five chain space, make a single crochet, chain four. In uh, three chain space, also make a single crochet, chain four. Single crochet in the next five chain space and chain five. Five and make four double crochets one in each next stitch and repeat five chains single crochet four chains single crochet four chains single crochet five chains four double crochets and now round 19 chain three and in next two stitches, we're going to make two double crochets together. So start the first one, then start the second one and pull through three loops. And then single uh, double crochet in the last stitch. And now chain seven, three, three, four, five, six seven and skip now 
this next five chain space and stitch in uh, four four chain space make single crochet chain five three four five and in next four chain space single crochet and again chain seven two three four five six and seven and now we're also skipping this last five chain space go into those double crochets make a first one in first stitch and in those middle two we're going to make two double crochets together start first start second pull through three loops and make one double crochet in the last stitch and then repeat seven chains single crochet five chains single crochet seven chains and double crochets i finished with a slip stitch in third beginning chain and round 20 chain two and so this is now going to be the beginning three double crochets together start the second double crochet don't finish it and then in that last stitch start the third don't finish now we have three loops on hook and pull through them so this is three double crochets together the beginning one then chain five two three four five and we're skipping this next seven chain space in the five chain space we're going to make a lot of stitches in here so we're going to make three uh four three triple crochets together four of them and for the triple crochets together we first yarn over twice insert your hook in that chain space pull up a loop pull through first two loops pull through next two loops and leave last two loops on hook again yarn over twice insert hook and pull up a loop pull through first two loops pull through next two loops now leave these three loops on hook again one more time yarn over twice pull up a loop pull through first two loops pull through next two loops and now when we have four loops on hook we pull through all of them and this is three triple crochets together then chain four and make the second three triple crochets together So I started my three triple crochets, left last loops on hook, and now I have four on hook pull through all of them. Chain four. Make the third one. Four loops pulled through chain four and one more three triple crochets in that same space and now chain five three four five skipping this next long chain go into these double crochets we're making three double crochets together start the first one in first stitch but don't finish start the second one in next stitch don't finish and start the third one in next stitch and now four loops and hook pull through all of them three double crochets together 
then chain five and again make these three triple crochets together here in five chain space four of them and chain four between each and when you finish chain five then again the three double crochets together and finish the round like a slip stitch on top of that beginning three double crochets together a last round 21 chain one and now single crochet in that same stitch uh, chain four and next uh, skip this space in that next four chain space we're going to make three double crochets together yarn over one time so start the first double crochet start the second start the third and pull through four loops and now we're making a three chain peak on top of it so one two three three chains and I'm going to insert my hook through these loops make a slip stitch the pico chain four two three four next we're going to make two double crochets together the first one will go into that same space where we just did three double crochets and pull through first two loops and leave last two loops on hook then start the second one and second goes into that next space pull through first two loops so this long cluster will stay between here now three loops on hook pull through and here chain four two three four in this same chain space going to make three double crochets together one two and three four loops pull through and again on top of these three together we're making uh, three chain picots chain three and slip stitch through these loops below and chain four one two three four we only chain four here on last round and now two double crochets together and again the first one goes in that same space don't finish it and that second one goes in the next space and now finish three loops chain four two three four and here in this same space we're making the last three double crochets together two and three and pico on top of it three chains And now chain four, one, two, three, four. In this three double crochets together, we're going to make single crochet. And chain four. Now repeat. So we're working in these uh, four chain spaces skip that one so we did first three double crochets together in first space then three chain peak on top of it chain four then two double crochets together with first one in the same space and second going in the next space and chain four between then in that same chain chain space second three double crochets together and pico on top of it chain four two double crochets together first one in same space second in the next space and chain four and the last three double crochet cluster in this same space and three chain pico on top of it repeat this all around so after that um, 
we still chain four here and then single crochet on top of this double crochet cluster and I finished my last round and this is how it looks before blocking uh, I'm going to now um, so fasten off weave in all the ends quite a few then I'll make it uh, wet and stretch it out on my uh, blocking mats uh, and uh, touch it with pins. I like to use some spray starch to give it extra firm uh, shape and I usually let it dry overnight. And uh, here's how I block my doilies Some photos for help. And here is my finished uh, cherry blossom doily after blocking. Uh, I had a lot of fun designing this one and I'm very happy how it turned out. So I'm hoping you have fun uh, making your own. Thank you so much for watching. You will find the written pattern on my blog and happy crocheting.